So in this video, I'm going to show you how to work with Azure Mesh and uh, Service, how to configure it. It's really uh, very simple. There are three things uh, we need to do. Number one, create a VNet. And uh, secondly, uh, you need a VM that is in the, in the VNet that is for subnet of that VNet. Within that VNet, we can create uh, another another uh, uh, another subnet called Azure Mesh and subnet that, that with that specific name. In one VNet, you can have one Azure Mesh and uh, subnet. So I'm going to start with creating a VNet first. And for the VNet, it's uh, simple. I'm going to select the resource group here. And uh, then for the name, I'm going to take it from my architecture, which is right here. And, and nothing else we need to do. Uh, IP address is going to create its own address space, which is 10.0.0.0. And uh, so here I'm going to just create it. So once this is being created, and at the same time, what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, I am going to create a virtual machine. So uh, while creating this virtual machine right here, uh, so it will be it will be sitting in the default subnet. So here, uh, let's create let's create a virtual machine. Uh, I'm going to create that in the same subnet, and uh, the machine name I'm going to take it from my architecture. So, I mean, it makes it a little bit easier to understand uh, where the machine and which VNet when you follow a naming convention. So this will be uh, this will be our Windows Server. You can select uh, Server 2016. Here I'm going to select the uh, admin name. And password. So uh, for this one, we are not going to select any RDP port, so it's not exposed to the internet. That's the main purpose of that is basically the main purpose of the, uh, of uh, uh, of Azure version, so that the VMs are not exposed to the outside uh, network. Uh, and rest is uh, for the disk. We're going to leave everything as it is uh, for networking. For the networking. I'm, I'm going to select the same VNet. So we have selected the 360 IT VNet and uh, the subnet, it, it will go into the default subnet and nothing else needs to be selected. Uh, public is the ports, public IP address is not required on this. So I'm going to create this VM. And uh, so once the validation wizard is completed, we can just create, uh, we can just click create the VM. Okay, so validation is succeeded, and I'm going to create the VM, and it will take a few uh, minutes. Now, while the VM is being created, uh, the requirement for the Bastion, uh, uh, for in order to configure Bastion, uh, Azure Bastion within within the cloud, is that we need to go into the VNet and create a subnet with a name specific with a specific name. Uh, so, so I'm going to go back here and go to the VNet. So, all resources, and I'm going to go into this virtual network and within the virtual network I am going to go to the subnet and within the subnet we have this one default subnet I'm going to create a subnet so this is required to configure the versions uh, so this is required to configure version uh, Azure version so here I'm going to go to and copy this name so this name is a name that is used for setting up the for Azure version subnet and the subnet so rest we don't need to select anything else once it is done in a few seconds you will see the subnet here uh, let's see what is going on with our VM the VM is being deployed and uh, the subnet is being created so subnet is created VM is being deployed now once the VM is created then we will uh, connect to the VM uh, using Azure version so VM is uh, deployed. I'm going to go to the VM. Uh, I can go back to home. And uh, so now the last piece is that uh, how to connect to a VM using Bastion. So VM is ready. And uh, so normally when we connect to a VM, we need a public IP address here. Uh, so this VM, it is a VM, uh, 360 IT VM 1. And it is a public IP address, but the port is not yet. We, uh, public IP address is here on the VM, but uh, there is no port uh, connected. So we won't be able to connect to this VM through public. Now in order to connect to this VM uh, through Bastion, so we need to go to the VM and uh, click Connect. And when we connect, there is an option for Bastion. And when we connect through Bastion, here we're going to say Use Bastion. And uh, for this, uh, so since it is in the same, in the, it is in the same uh, VNet, the subnet, it automatically detected. If it is not, in case if it is not in the same VNet, uh, then it would ask you to create a uh, Azure version subnet. So we, since we created this subnet, I'm going to just create. For it, it, it is creating the connection to, to the VM. So once it is ready, 
then we will be able to connect to this VM through Dash. And, and it will open a browser. From the browser, we can connect to any uh, any other servers uh, within the within our network. So. So that's basically it. Uh, so one requirement is to uh, have this subnet within your VNet, and in one VNet you can have one Azure Bastion, and uh, that one Azure Bastion will be enough for all of the uh, for all of the subnet for all of the uh, uh, VMs within the same VNet. So I will uh, wait for this to finish. So normally it takes few minutes, so you can keep an eye on notification here, and uh, once it is done, then you will be able to commence uh, connection. So it took around uh, four or five minutes uh, for this one, and I can I can see this window now. So on this window, you just use your same username and password for the VM, since remember that we are in the VM and we are about to connect to a VM. And here, uh, I'm going to use the username and the password and connect. So remember that we're not doing an RDP or SSH session. It opens uh, HTML5 browser, and from here we can connect. So uh, the only thing that we can we need to protect from from the from outside will be uh, will be basically the uh, the it, 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 443. So 443 is already a secure uh, connection, and through 443 we are connected here. And now from being within the server, you can connect to you can open RDP session to any other server. Uh, from here. So this is uh, what is known as, so for example, if I, if I need to connect to any other server, I can run a command MSTSC and then I can open a RDP connection to any server to, uh, to the inside of the network. Thank you for watching this video.